Thanks for sticking with, uh, with us. You've probably seen some area farmers starting to bring in their corn and soybean crops. As of today, 87% of Ohio is in moderate or severe drought condition, so yields won't be as good as last year. Dan Cummins has an update for us from Wood County. Hard to believe in early May we had too much rain. I was with Logan and Nolan Chamberlain, who farmed just outside Bowling Green, checking out their wet fields that day. But it dried out, crops were planted, and within days, heavy rain made this cornfield a lake. Most of the crops came out of it, so we were happy with stands. Everything was going well, things were growing, and then I would say June, July, we started to dry up, and we just never really caught any rains. You know, we're, the weather forecast kept saying we're gonna get some, and they just kept blowing around us. Then came August and September. You know how that's been. We want the ear to be hanging. So if you look in the field a little more, you'll see some of them that are drooping down. How's that look? They estimate the yields will be down 20 to 30 percent. So the dry weather has knocked down the yield, but the real problem when you take it to market, last year soybeans were selling for $13 a bushel, now $9 a bushel. And corn was 450, now it's 350. So you're going to lose money when you bring in your corn and soybeans. Exports to countries like China have stopped. Ethanol plants have plenty of corn, and suddenly demand is way down, prices drop. You know, it's a cyclical industry and business to be in. And we just know, kind of batting down the hatches, folks are preparing for a few rough years. Um, and, you know, the weather this year in this part of the country, honestly, it's been great in other parts of the country, but for us specifically, bat down the hatches and, and just kind of get prepared for what's to come. The final hurdle to jump is fall weather. They want dry enough to get in the fields in November to get the corn and soybeans picked before frost. In Wood County, Dan Cummins, WTOL 11.